So the word is planet Earth is getting warmer. So what? Sky is still blue, grass is still green, we still get plenty of rain and sunshine. So then what is all this fuss about climate change? Well, global warming is a major threat to our environment. According to National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, May of 2014 was the 351st consecutive month where the planet was warmer than the 20th century average temperature. As Shim, author of There's an Environmental Phenomenon You Never Experienced, put this into perspective for us um, when he states, if you're 29 years or younger, you've never experienced a colder than average month ever. So that means that those of us under 29 do not know a life without climate change. Um, after close observation, scientists have measured some very alarming climate changes that are happening much too quickly. M.P. Gillette, author of Simulation of Recent Southern Hemisphere Climate Change, defined global warming as a constant increase in the Earth's average temperature. In the last century, Earth's temperature has risen by one degree. Now, this may not seem like enough to cause a great deal of concern, but it really is. Uh, polar ice caps and glaciers are quickly melting. Um, there's an increase in desertification, a rise in sea, dramatic rise in sea levels, and a great deal of extinction in species. Um, so I chose to speak about global warming because I personally fear for our future. I mean, we turn on the news and we hear of all these very frightening changes in weather patterns. Um, so therefore, I would like to share that research, the research that has been found about the causes and effects of global warming. So studies have found that gases released into the atmosphere are causing global, warm, global, global temperatures to rise, which are creating many problems. Um, it's altering Earth's water cycles tremendously creating drastic weather changes, and also having a negative effect on humans and animals. So these changes to the temperature and water cycle are affecting communities with natural disasters like floods, storms, and droughts. So I will discuss the evidence and severe problems resulting from global warming, as well as bring awareness to you about the efforts we can take to restore Earth's balance and consideration for future generations. So there are several very alarming facts about the existence of global warming and how it is caused. Um, global warming is the increase of Earth's average surface temperature due to greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide emissions um, that are released from burning fossil fuels or from deforestation, which trap heat that would otherwise escape from Earth. So the greenhouse gases um, like natural oils, gasoline, um, and coal keep heat close to the Earth's surface, making it livable for humans and animals. However, global warming is happening um, due, largely due to an overminence of these gases. According to NASA's Goddard Institute for Space Studies, average temperatures have climbed 1.4 degrees Fahrenheit around the world since 1880, uh, much of this in recent decades. Uh, the Arctic is feeling these effects the most, uh, with average temperatures in Alaska, Western Canada, and Eastern Russia rising twice the global average, according to the Multinational Arctic Climate Impact Assessment Report compiled between the years 2000 and 2004. Um, so Arctic ice is rapidly disappearing and the region may have its first completely ice-free summer in the year 2040 or possibly sooner. Um, polar bears as well as indigenous cultures there are already suffering from the sea ice loss. Um, the rate of warming is increasing as well. The 20th century's last two decades were the hottest in 400 years and possibly the warmest for several millennia according to a number of climate studies. Uh, the, National, or Un the United Nations and Governmental Panel on Climate Change reports that 11 of the past 12 years are among the dozen warmest since 1850. Um, June of 2014 was the, would be the, first, be the third month in a row with average carbon dioxide levels about above 400 parts per million. Atmospheric concentrations of the greenhouse gas which help drive global warming haven't been this high in somewhere between 800,000 and 15 million years. Um, a study of ocean warming over the past 40 years, for example, what published in the journal Science in 2005, records a precise match between the distribution of heat and the intensity of man-made carbon dioxide emission. Its lead author described his findings when he stated, the evidence is so strong that it should be put an end to an, any debate about whether uh, humanity is causing global warming. So the report, based on the work of some 2,500 scientists in more than 130 countries, concluded that humans have had a great cause in this. Um, industrialization, deforestation, and pollution have greatly increased atmospheric concentrations of water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide, which are all greenhouse gases that help um, trap heat near Earth's surface. So humans are pouring a great deal of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere much faster than plants in the ocean can absorb it. Global warming is affecting the environment, people, and animals. Um, the author Shim 
claims that an upsurge in the amount of extreme weather events such as wildfires, heat waves, and strong tropical storms are also attributed to uh, climate change by some experts. Um, other species will soon be hit harder and sooner than humans. In 2004, research on five continents surveyed the ecosystems covering 20% of the Earth's surface. So these climate changes are affecting our society greatly and will only worsen if we do not make an effort to change. A follow-up report by the IPCC released in April 2007 warned that global warming would lead to a large-scale food and water shortage and could also have catastrophic effects on wildlife. Uh, much of the world's population is concentrated in vulnerable coastal cities. Um, in the U.S., Louisiana and Florida are especially at risk. Um, strong hurricanes, droughts, heat waves, wildfires, and other natural disasters may have commonplace in many parts of the world. As the growth of de deserts as well may also call, cause food shortages in many places. So animals are also being affected strongly with more than a million species facing extin extinction from disappearing habitat, uh, as well as changing e ecosystems in acidifying oceans. So what can we do then? Well, there are many steps people can take to reducing global warming. Uh, these include reducing our fossil usage, usage um, or using less energy or possibly using alternative non-polluting energy sources like solar and wind power. Uh, we can also plant more trees. Carbon dioxide is the most important greenhouse gas, so plants are a very effective way to slow global warming. Um, decomposing waste and landfills produces methane and other greenhouse gases. So simply reducing our waste and consumption min minimizes our carbon footprint a great deal. Um, the last one thing we can do is saving water. Um, this reduces the amount of harmful energy used. Cities' consumption of water requires a great amount of energy to use water, which contributes, contributes to the greenhouse gas emissions that are released. So global warming poses a serious threat on our future, and I hope you will think about our effects that we have on our planets. Um, and Neil to in Neil deGrasse Tyson's speech, Cosmos, A Space-Time Odyssey, he quotes, There are no technical or scientific obstacles to protecting our world and the precious life that it supports. It all, it all depends on what we truly value and if we can summon the will to act. The, or global warming is a preventable problem. It just takes an awareness of the cause and solution of global warming. And if we do not make fundamental changes in our lives today, we may be facing a dark future. Thank you.